Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of my Darkness Falls series. So it is the morning of day 73 and I've been doing a lot of work last night. Uh, let's get this repaired again. So uh, we've been working on getting this updated. I've been up upgrading all these blocks. I got all the metal knocked out. Um, I got all, basically all of the second floor upgraded to the first level of concrete. Some of it's up to the second already. I'm taking this part out because I'm going to have a bit of a lower roof on this side. Uh, what I want to do is I want to build a place for the um, the solar panels down here, but not up on the main roof level, so that if we get any spillover um, from cops or anybody else shooting up here to try and get me, that the solar panels will be in a position where they won't get hit and damaged. So I'm going to work on building like a little... Um, I don't know what you want, like a little fortified place for them right inside here uh, so that they won't be exposed to the elements on the outside but be exposed to the uh, uh, sun on the uh, center part. So I'll show you what I mean in a second here once we get this block knocked out. Alright, we had about five screamers last night I think, I don't know. Some ridiculous numbers, it was like I would, I would break out like ten of these plates and then another one would show up and I'd break out ten more and another one would... It was getting really bad. There were just so many of them. But we weathered the night. It was no big deal. I just hopped down and killed them. Alright, so what I want to do here uh, is make kind of this level the roof. So it's like a lot like that. Right? Or do we? It has to be, because it has to be above these guys, right? I can't put blocks on them, it has to be above. So this has to be roof level. So here's my thought. What we do is we take these out. Let's just uh, grab our blocks here and go ahead, lay in the framework, because I think it's going to go all the way to here. But the roof on the inside will be down one. So let's put these in and get these updated. Because these have to be here. Right? So these guys will go in and then we'll build another layer up. Like that. And then, like on this level right here, was, would be where the solar panels would be. And then there would be one more level up from that where the roof is. And we would have a hole here so that solar panels could see up, but then, like, you know, like that, right? And then the solar panels would be here. And there would be, a, like, blocks wherever the solar panels aren't. So let's put this part in. I think it needs to go all the way up to here. I was thinking it could be a, a lower roof, but I think it needs to be all the way up. And then we fill this in. Okay, so now... Yeah, we got like 2,500 iron last night. Just off of... Uh, breaking apart all the metal here. Okay, so let's do that. Gotta drop down here. We gotta have better access to the roof. Uh, so we got solar panels. I wonder if... Do they have to be sitting on something? Like, they should be able to sit right right here, right? Ugh, I feel weird about... Just putting them like that, though. Let's just try... Yep, it will. Beautiful. Let's get the other one. Where are you here? Wait, did I only have one? I thought I bought two. Oh, duh. Don't worry. I can still function. Uh, let's take out... Get rid of that. Uh, why want to go here? Is it too long? There's something blocking it. What would be blocking that?
It's like there's something hidden there. What if we do... It's gonna look weird as hell. Fuck it. We do that. And then what we can do is take... Uh, where are you here? These guys. And fill in... Mm, here and here. And I think we do it the same here across here. Like so. Okay, and then for up there. Let's get back up there. I took my block out here. Oh, of course. Alright, so, um, here, we leave that open, and then here we can just do, let's say, the shape. Yeah, I mean... Now, I think we're going to do it... Like... So... Like that. And then we'll make these guys this shape, and then we fill this in. You know, and then we can put bars across here, and then if for whatever reason the zombies are up here or they're shooting spit, spitting or whatever, they can't have access to this. And we've got full access. This lets the sun kind of come in this way. Yeah, if it doesn't work out, we fix it. It's fine. This way we're going to have access, like, below it, right? So let's go ahead and make uh, wood bars 8... Now, I don't think the, like, I'm interested to see if the wood bars count as um, blocking the uh, solar panels. I'm interested to, to know if that's what, if it would consider them as blocking the solar panel. Like that. I don't have any forged iron on me, do I? No. So... You know, and then we can, like, I don't have to, like, go outside. I can just access it from under here. So let's get, let's do this. Uh, we're going to put three in each. Let's mix up the strengths of them. One, two, three. And then this one would be one, two, three. So it's like 30... 75. That's, yeah, it's a little more, but whatever. Not much we can do about that now. So we'll do that, and then we need a battery bank. Not sure why those took damage, but uh, they somehow did. Could be guards. Uh, so we want to do... Wait, do we have a battery bank? We do not. Okay. Wait, what's over there? We took that out of there. So, battery. Uh, where are you here? We're going to need polymers. And electrical and mechanical, I think. And forged iron, if I'm not mistaken. Or it might just be electrical. Forged iron. Uh... Battery bank, perfect. Get that crafting. Let's go up here and update these bars. At least a forge iron. I don't think we need to go any more than that for now. So 
So at least those are done. Let's get this updated. All right, that's got most of that updated, I think. I gotta leave this here because I gotta come back and do the updates on these guys to proper reinforce concrete. Let's get over this. Yeah, that one can be done. Okay, so I think that's got most of this. Uh, battery bank should be done now. Excellent. So let's throw you down here for now. Uh, doesn't matter where we put you for now. Uh, what I want to do is let's grab a couple of lights out. I'm just going to throw them up on the wall for now. Or just put them right here. I want to do a quick test here. One from you to you you to you we'll toss this back in here then we'll grab one battery and toss you in where'd the battery go get there turn that on leave that run for a bit just so that it's um gonna burn down the battery a little bit then once it's burned it down a bit i want to hook up these solar panels directly to it I guess we could just hit, hook them directly to the light. That will let me know right away if it's actually... Uh... Can we turn both these on? Should be able to go straight to that. Yeah, they're working. Working just fine. Okay, perfect. Excellent. So we should be able to go from this guy to here, and then from this guy to there, and then in theory, that should keep this charged up, if I'm not mistaken. Let's, let, let's leave it run for a while, see how it works out, get that going. All right, so we got some stuff to sell here, not a lot. So uh, let's work on our secondary level of defense now. So our primary one is working fine. So we've got, what do we got on us? Stuff to do that with. Let's put this back down actually before I forget. Now that we've uh, updated the wall, you can go back there. Bring you down. Okay, so we want to go, I don't know where I want to go. I thought about going out that back door. I mean, maybe that's the best way to go. We take this door out and then make this just like 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 hatches to here and we have this as a second blockhouse right so we'd be fighting up on this level do a bunch of hatches here then if shit hits the fan like if they're in here and doing whatever and shit hits the fan then we just take off this way Where could we put another, like we could build another blockhouse in the corner here too, right? So that the doorway would be like, they would have to come around and along to here. Nah, it's not going to work either. Because they can just punch through the wall. Unless this was like, all this was solid. We have a uh, thing come out this way. And then across this way. So they'll run down, run into a solid block wall. They'll think, ah, fuck that. They'll come across the walkway and then over to here. And then I'd be standing like right here. They'd still be able to see me from down there though. Huh. I want to avoid getting into a trap where I'm caught like in a corridor backing up. Like, I know um, Jewoodle did, like, a killing corridor where he kind of just kind of kept backing up. But I want to stay out of that corridor. It's a... Honestly, I find it's a death trap. Because the succubus has ripped the roof right off that place. So... That being said... What if we do it a little differently? We, we incorporate this. So they come, we fight. We fight like we have been. 
they break into that that room we come out the door like we come out I don't know why I'm talking from over here because we can go right in there really easily all right so they break through the door here like all this stuff will be gone they break through the door here they start coming this way we defend here right and then rather than going straight across there's a walkway that kind of comes out and angles over and then angles that way So it ends up being like they would have to come out here, go across, like they're doing it down there, they're coming across there. So they would go across, and then I would be here. Ah, I mean, I'm shooting at my building though. I mean, I guess I could double plate the wall over there. But they would have them come across like out this way and then down this way and then into where I'm standing here. So we could use that as an escape route to here. I do the fighting here, problems, shit hits the fan, I kind of go over here, hop up one level and then go across to my base. And then we have a final fight over there. I don't think it'll ever get to that though. Like I, I think I could probably hold them there, there and here in a night. The only problem with standing here, like I said before, is that they're not going to be able to see this as a place that they can get to me. So they're just going to knock shit down. I mean, we could build one right here. Or not here. Yeah, it's like, I don't know. Where would I, like, how? Maybe it's here. Maybe it is this way. Right? We put some protection up for the guards. And then we come back and we fight here. Like this. I'd have to remove the entire garden, move it someplace else, and then put spikes and stuff down there. And we'd have to have it so that we don't need a pillar. I would probably be put put one in anyway just to give them something to beat on while they're down there. But I think that's what we do. We turn this part here. Let's just take part of this out. Uh, it's going to be loud, but... Okay. So what we would do... God, this is going to be so weak under here, though. Because, like, I haven't... Like the blocks in here are still, uh, still cobble. Uh, I mean, they're not going to knock it down, let's face it. They'd have to do a hell of a lot of damage to be able to knock that down. Alright, let's just get this put in place. Okay, so let's, this is the floor. I'm going to leave that open there just in case we need to go in there and update those blocks. So let's go. Well, that's the center. So one. Two. It's seven, right? Yeah, we don't need that. Uh, So this would be the stopgap room. I would fight here with the door closed. Stopgap fighting here, right? Hopefully we can hold them here. If we can't, we're out the door and we're into here, which is an identical layout to that over there. And I just shoot them straight down here as they come at me. And I can set up, we can set up electric fences across here. There's plenty of places to kind of tuck them in and hide them and have them protected. Like I could have one protected on that side one protected on this side and just strung across like like two of them go across there right i think that's i i feel happier about that you know and then this becomes a wandering horde Uh, 
Yeah, fuck it. Let's get down there and fight these guys. Ow. Yeah, thanks for helping out, guys. Appreciate it. You got him? Did you get him? You sure? Maybe you want to double tap him just to make sure. Fuckers. I don't know why I'm protecting you. One can. Oh, a little bit of ammo that I can't use and a hat. Let's get back up. Where was I before I was so rudely interrupted? Uh, right. Laying out that base over there. Can go out this way. So this will this will remain a door just in case we can get out here and run across this way or whatever. Oh fuck! Are you still are you serious? Thanks for helping out, guys. Right, we'll, we'll have to make this a double thick wall here, just in case they get up here and trying to break in to get me. At least I can hear them smashing on it. And then our escape route will be this way. They might be able to jump across that, but it will be this way and then final a final blockhouse here, which will shoot down this way. I don't know. I think I have to raise this up, though. I think I have to knock all this out and raise it all up one. It has to be five high, I think, because if they're stacked up on each other, like one of the tall zombies can probably get up. So we need to make this definitely one more higher, and then we fight from here. I think that's probably the plan. That way we have four positions, right? We got the main position here, the immediate backup here, then we're out into a secondary bunker here, which I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna extend this out one more. So this is the front, be hatch, hatch, hatch. And this will be the front wall right here. You know, then that'll give me room to back up because this is going to be a wall here too, right? Actually, I can make this a half block, you know, across here. Nope, not today. Worth it. All right, uh, so let's knock out. Let's lay the framework down. Let's knock this out. What the? Alright. Let's get these updated. Okay, so you can get fully updated now. Update you. All right, now the question is, ah, uh, do I, so here's what I'm thinking. Do I put another block here? Because this is kind of three wide already. Do I put another block here and have it come up or do I just have it extend out this way. Like we could put it all the way down or we just put it like this. Like that. That'll save resources. Let's just go that way. Just for now. And then this. I think. Yeah. Ah, uh, how do I want to do this? I think it's got to be this high regardless. Because we're going to be redoing the walkway, right? 
Like all of this is going to be this height anyway. So now do we knock this out? I think we do. I don't think we want this any higher. Because that way if they somehow do come across here, right, and they're beating on this, they're beating at my feet. And at least I can see them. Rather than beating at my head and being able to spit in where I am, you know? That'll save me having to take, like... Because I think they have to see your head. If they see your... Well, maybe, I don't know. Like, if they see your feet, they may not shoot for your feet. They may wait till they can see your head. I don't know. I know the turrets are that way. Get between that. All right. Starting to feel a little better about this. So this would be the outside wall. So that's three. Four, right? Yeah, that's four high. So it's going to need to be one more. Well, no, because I'm going to put an angle block on the outside, I think. So if they do try to jump up, it'll just push them outwards. That'll go like that. And these guys. I may be preparing for a horde that might never come. I got, why, why do I feel that? I feel, I just feel like that I'm preparing, like over preparing here. Let's go with these guys. Ah, better over prepared than not prepared at all, I guess, eh? Let's go with these guys. It's a little more forceful to push them out. Okay. Let's just do this. All right, now um, this can this can stay open. You're done. All right, you're already updated. So let's get you as proper lock. And I think those were going to concrete. I can't remember. I think as long as this blockhouse is done for the next horde, like we didn't even need that last one. Like this one over here, we didn't even need. So as long as this one is done, all right, let's go and do, um, copy, can't copy, can't copy the shape, eh? All right, let's do that. Give it a little bit of aesthetic. Watch, I'll do this and this whole fucking thing will collapse. You gotta give it aesthetic, he says, and then the fucking thing collapses. I can't even reach that. You're gonna make me go down there, aren't you? God damn it. Okay, like that. Like that. And then we wanna do the wedge tips. Like that. Sure. We're kind of buying that. Let me grab these guys. Like this. Just to give it a bit more reinforcement on the bottom. Yeah, I know you're hungry. Calm down. I got any food on me? Nah. Yeah, because then if they, even if they try and like get up here, if they stack up on each other, that'll just push them back. And I should probably do the same thing under here. So... Like this. Yeah, we'll leave it like... Yeah, like that. It's not much, but it's at least it's a little bit... 
of extra protection. Okay, I'm all right with that. I'm all right with that. And if we find for whatever reason that the zombies are beating away down here, we can just put plates up down here. And we won't need the full blocks. At least these things are going to start getting you some use again. And then we can also put like another, like I can grab another junk turret. I'll have it on me. And that way, if we do have to retreat out this way, I can have a block here that I can just put it on. And hopefully it'll just punt them off down here. I think that'll work. And then I think over here is where we'll have our, right here, is where we can build the farm. I think that'll probably work over here. Yeah, man. It's all coming together. Kind of. Kind of. Right? Is it going to work? That looks like shit up there, but if I if I feel like it, I'll take it out. Oh, shit. If I feel like it, I'll take it out. <coughs> Make it look better. But I mean, that looks like garbage too, right? So, no big deal. Okay, feeling better. All right, so what are we going to do now? Um, I should probably check these doors. Yeah, barely any damage. Oh, that one had a little bit. Uh, let's go. You know what? Let's go see if the traders have got anything for us. Ooh, we can update. No, I don't have any steel on me. Let's go see if the traders have, or these guys have got any good missions for us. Sorry, man. Um, got fetch. Northeast. I've got just the task for you. Cave. Uh, that's the one we Come did before. On, you can do it. And got murdered Please. in. Yeah, I can do it. Yeah, sure, I can do it. Uh, let's put this stuff away. Man, those ten meat stews didn't last very long. I think I made some st steak and potatoes here. So we'll have those going forward. Gonna have to get some more yucca juice going too, I guess. I think I made all that water. All right, so uh, do this that down to six so um, yeah how's this doing still at full we'll leave it running and see how it does uh, what's it gonna do oh yeah uh, you didn't have any jobs that I wanted to take uh, let's go check out this girl over here you got anything anything for Good me today kiddo survivor Finally looking at your head again. All right, do uh, you got any jobs? Fetch to the east. If you do this for me, I will never forget you. Uh. Oh, I would kiss you, but um. Nah, you know, please don't. Yeah, I know. I know. Let's get over here. Um, gonna find out what floor it's on. We're just gonna grab it and run. I really want to get to tier 5. We've already been through this apartment building. We know how it rocks. We're just going to go in, start this fucker, and then pull up the inside. Ah, I got vagrants again. Nice. All quiet. Nice playground in here, though. All right, what are we looking here? Up on this side. Oh, we got a Bernie boy down here. We got to take care of this guy. How many are awake? A couple. Come on, hurry up. I'd like to talk to you about your coil rifle ammo stock. That's a Bernie boy. He's got to go now. Come on, one more. Bet you wish you hadn't have done that now. 
All right, we're going up here. Because we can. Ooh, what's on this floor? I hear the fucking Bernie boys, though. Wake up. That's pretty thick. Hey, lady. Hey, lady. Excuse me. I think I went to the wrong apartments. I'll just leave now. Bye. That's all we need. We're out of here. I'm only doing this so we can get the, the uh, tier 5 um, buried treasures. Hopefully that will get us to uh, the next level. Did they do a work? Any job? They didn't really do any work on this building on this side at all last time. A little bit out front. Looks like a few of the spikes are damaged, but... Get that fixed. Yeah, man. I should change that to two seconds, probably. Wow, All right. I didn't think you had it in you. I'll take these. Good job. I'll take... This. Alright, got any jobs? Fetch, northeast. 4.8 to the south. I think I've got a job or two. No, Monty not doing the fucking trees, caves. Really should take some work. I'm gonna take work. Just don't send me to a fucking job for someone with your talents. Look off with you in your oh, caves. I'm so disappointed in you. Don't be disappointed. Oh, maybe next time. This one is way down to the south, though. Little League Baseball. Ah oh, man, that's got my curiosity this now. This is dangerous work, but I believe you can handle it. It's got my curiosity. I'm interested to see though. I'm gonna talk to one of these guys because I want to see if uh, he's not giving me tier five. Okay, I thought maybe uh, I'd get a tier five. Like I maybe I had completed them all. You're gonna have to do without a roof for another day, buddy. Sorry. Uh, what do we get? Oh yeah, a bunch of shit in here. Didn't make much money off that, but that's fine. That can go in there. Stones. It's night time, so tomorrow we're going to take off... Oop, not that. This. Tomorrow we're going to take off out of here. We're going to go down south. 36 of those. Let's see here. Um, anything south? No. Well, you might have something tomorrow. So I think tomorrow we head out of here. We go south. <sighs> See where that is on the map. Have we already been there? Jennifer's treasure map's there. We've not been there. So, is that going to be in a town? Uh... So this kind of ends here. This ended here. So I guess we gotta drive straight down and take I guess we take the motorcycle. I think we gotta take the motorcycle with this one. Cause I got a feeling we're gonna be going off road. So maybe tonight I look at trying to get that turbo mod. So we got a trader down here. I mean, I guess we could go hit up the trader down there too, see if he's got anything. Oh, right. This is, yeah, this is like really far down there. So it is a motorcycle drive, I think. Okay. I, I'm wondering if that uh, Little League Baseball is the same as this one here, the Coliseum thing. It might be, it might not be, I don't know. But it'll be interesting nonetheless. I think we're going to be fine for the next horde. Like, I mean, once this base is fixed, there really isn't much more to do. 
Like we're kind of ready here. And then if we have to bail out, we've got the uh, backup already, right? Which we can just update. And that that the third uh, area, if we have to make it to the third area, we're in trouble anyway. So we'll be running around. And he dropped a bag. I'm not going to get it. It's probably something ridiculous. Sure as hell ain't going to be a, well, he's a construction worker. I don't think he can drop a multi-tool. Fucking pants. What's up, lady? Well, they did a number on this place last night. Or last horde, that is. So I have to make a good... So tomorrow we go down south, we check out that job. Maybe the trader down there has got another job for us that we can do while we're down there. I don't know. Once we get tier 5, hopefully we can get the multi-tool, but it's really got to happen on a drop, I think, and I'm not exactly sure who drops it. I don't know if it's dropped by demons or if it's dropped by... Like, who would drop it like that? Maybe the, the lab techs or the hazmat workers, maybe? Or... I don't know. But if we see a hospital while we're down there, we'll try and hit up a hospital, too. we got to get some more of those red, uh, red cards. These guys, we need two more of them. And, of course, stuff for the library. I mean, yeah... Actually, while, while we're doing this, let's... We got a little bit of time before nightfall, so let's go ahead and just grab some concrete, do a bit more work around here before... Um, before night's upon us. I can at least say, like, I feel like I've done something. You know, I feel like we haven't really done much today. Like, I know we have. Oh, hey, buddy. Take your time, I gotta fix this first. Yep, thanks for showing up. I don't know who... That might have been a guard shooting in there. Causing the issue. It's a good possibility. So yeah, they didn't knock any blocks out around here. This time. A little bit of damage. You got my six. And this side is always no problem. They don't really touch the walls at all. I'm kind of happy with that. I think a lot of the damage on the ground here is me shooting down. Like, it's like they don't even care. You know, they go right for the door. Which is kind of a bonus for me, I mean... Saves repair. Alright, let's get this properly done here. Shit, I didn't bring the goddamn... Uh, frames. At least we get to update that. Yeah, see, we're gonna be up here. So, I, I, don't, I don't know if I need to, like... You know what we do need to do, though? Shit. I gotta dig it down and under this and put steel blocks under the whole thing because if a demo goes off down here, you know, it takes a huge chunk of this out and the zombies start smashing stuff, this whole thing will collapse. That's gotta be... I, I have to do that. I think we take this garbage out in the corner here, too. I think these can probably come out now, too. You can see what I mean. A lot of this wall is not even upgraded, right? Because it's behind these plates. So I'm, I don't know. Do I have... I guess I go around and... I guess I gotta take all these plates off of here, too. Take a little bit of damage. 
I guess I have to. I can't see any, like, it's so much work. That's my fault, though, for choosing the trader to stay at. I could have built my own base. I think the next time I will. I want to go with um, one of my original bunker ideas. It was kind of the same as the uh, the um, my Wasteland series. But my house would be underneath and the bunker would be on top. I think for Darkness Falls, though, I think it would have to be uh, up one level. I don't think it could be on the ground level. Because they rip through blocks so quickly that we have to narrow their ability to do that. But I would build a very similar kind of trough idea around the base of, the, of my base. Can I get in there? I don't have any, yeah, I don't have any cobble. You know, I would build a very similar um, trough around the outside with spikes and whatever else in there. And then... Ooh, I gotta fix that too, right? Yeah, so the trough would have spikes and everything in it. And then um, it would just be a solid platform that goes up with a little tunnel down the center that I can get under underneath and get into my base. But we would use something similar to this where the zombies could get up to my level and fight me. But the, the, the base part of it would look like this. You know, it would be like a nice big solid thick base. So it would they just wouldn't be bothered to bang on it. And then right underneath the whole thing would be where I live, like underground. I'm thinking about building right on an iron node. And like that would be my house is the iron node. Let's grab this. So yeah, I'm gonna end this episode here, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you got any suggestions, please drop them in the comment section below. Because um, I'm interested to hear what you guys think about uh, the way that the base is holding up here, and you know the secondary and tertiary uh, defense. Because those. Like, if we get lots, like two or three behemoths in a row, and I'm planning on upping the number of zombies and pop possibly the difficulty as well. Um, but if we get two or three of them, they're just going to break through this straight into here. And then I'm going to be in here fighting. And then they're going to break through this. And I got to go through, like, I'll close the door. I'll run out here. I'll have just enough time to drop, like, a uh, junk sledge down right here, probably, to knock them off that way. And then I'll be back in here fighting again with the three hatches right so and then the wall will be like across here but yeah I think it'll work I mean I, I'm not really that like now that I see the way this is laid out I'm not that worried about it the zombies aren't gonna really the zombies themselves I don't think they've got the juice anymore to defeat this base it's the, it's the behemoths and um, the big demons and stuff that are going to come later on. They're the ones that are going to punch holes in this thing. And since I'm not allowed to repair it. Right. I got to be very, very careful about. Like what I let them do. You know what I mean? Like I got to really funnel them. And this thing has been like a champion. Like it's. I think without this. Without this. Without this turret. Horde Knights would have been really bad. With it, you saw, I mean you've seen the number of zombies that have been down here. Because this thing is like stopping them from getting to me. Got a zombie over here. Come on, buddy, bring it around, Amo. Anybody else around? Nope. Okay, I'm ending this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.